And so good morning, we are trying to repair the Xiaomi to inflator. Um, we are getting a 264 error, which is a sensor error. So usually it happens if there is moisture inside. Um, even if it is not having a direct contact with water or any liquids, but if the humidity arises around the area and, and your inflator is in a closed or tight area, sometimes moisture builds up and when it reaches our sensor which is here the pressure sensor is here so even if you're gonna blow it dry you're gonna have it air dried done dried whatever the error will still be there sometimes it fixes the problem if you're gonna air dry it if you're gonna blower it but it it will always come back so our Solution right now is to bypass everything. So you just have to access this one, this area from which the board resides. So I'm just gonna show you the error first so that you're gonna have an idea. So this one. So this one is showing a 264 error. So as you can see on the board. So actually, if you're gonna remove the board, then remove the batteries. Just twist it around because the wire here on the motor is directly connected on this battery pack. Just remove the screws. Then you just twist it around so that the wire doesn't get pulled on the motors as you can see here. And you're going to have an access to this area right here. So this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven terminals here. All we need to do is tap either one, no before, and tap it on two or one. So I'm going to show you that the motor still works even if the sensor is damaged. So we're going to put one here on the four. Wait, wait, I'm going to twist this around so that you can see, so that you can see that the what the motor is working. Nowhere four, and a nowhere once. Or two, who and four. So as you can see, it really works. Okay, so that's it. So our connection is secured. Oh, so I pass the wires here so that I can make an access. So that I can put a switch here, maybe be push button switch. Um, since we're going to utilize this hole for the push button switch, we can actually switch this one off on the center piece, on the center button. Then when you switch it on, you can still long press that one. So it's that easy. But actually, we cannot use the, the center button right now because we're but... But for the main purpose of using this, utilizing this contraption... Well, we still need the LEDs and everything buttons here so that we can still use the flashlight. Okay. So as you can see, we're just bypassing the sensor here. This one gives us more trouble and it's really hard to find that part. So since this is what this one is giving us a hard time, we're going to bypass everything so that this one is still usable. I set it to 97 PSI, but still it goes back to 264 error. Even if I'm going to press the center button, it doesn't work. So, it bypass. 
and if ever I'm going to use it, I'm going to give you a good and honest review on how it, it how will it go? Will it inflate our bikes or tires to their desired PSI and still we're retaining the battery indicator so that you will know if you're going to get a low battery status, so at least we're still being informed that this one still works, it has very good battery, and we can still inflate our tires. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.